And there are a lot of remarkable people and stories here at, at AirVenture, and we'd like to introduce you to now to a young woman from Ghana in West Africa. And like everyone here, her passion is aviation, and she's using that passion to make a big difference. Patricia Mowley is a young woman of singular accomplishment. First female to gain the national license. No one has done this before, and I was the first one. But you know what? It's not just that. But because I build the planes as well before flying them, it becomes like a pilot engineer. Now I'm the first female certified Rotax engineer in the whole world. Now that's a big deal for my country and myself. I mean, for the whole world as well. Now after hearing that, you wouldn't think that she grew up with famine in a small fishing and trading village in the West African country of Ghana. So I went into the bush to cut some trees. So when I saw the planes coming overhead, I was like, ooh, these are nice. And so I was looking at the plane. At the same time, I was scared. So I started hiding. And after all of this, I was wondering, why would they be chasing me? So I asked a couple of friends to show me where the airplanes were coming from. Lo and behold, I traced the place and I went over there and I saw where the planes were coming from. So I asked, what were you guys doing the other day? I saw you guys flying and chasing me and things like that. Well, they told me they were not chasing me, but they were practicing what they call touch and go. That's when they are teaching people to fly. So I said, well, guys, I like what you guys are doing. Is there anything I can do whilst I'm waiting for my results? And they gave me cutlass, mattock, and things to go and pull out tree stamps. She quickly moved to building airplanes. Help us. And I went over and I helped them, and I just watched what they were doing. They were putting the pins into the boat, which was really nice, so I watched very carefully and I repeated the same thing. So he asked, have you worked around machines or tractors or things like that before? I said, no. So he said, well, you have a great potential. One day she flew with her boss. He gave me the controls and I was flying the plane and I really felt good. For me, right inside me, I thought that's where I belong. So I did everything I could to learn really fast and it took me six months to complete everything and I had my license on my 21st birthday. And for me, that was a joy. She now flies for Medicine on the Move. Medicine on the Move is an NGO that takes health care and health education to the villages to introduce people to health sanitation. Lake Volta is the largest man-made lake in the world but the extensive reservoir cut off many roads and made it very difficult to get to many villages. We use airplanes, especially the float planes, that we can land on the lake. She is also working to bring aviation to more young Ghanaians with Fly Me Days. Every year we organize like a show where we bring 100 people from different kind of the regions and we give them short flights. Well, these short flights will just open their minds, give them an idea to be able to think about it and to see whether they want a career in aviation or they want to just get enthusiastic about the whole idea. So we do this fly me days. And she's working with a new academy to teach technology to young girls. I have been involved in creating an organization or an NGO where young ladies are taken into an academy. We call it the Aftec Academy, the Aviation and Technology Academy. So I've been involved in creating that so we can bring youngsters from the villages. Amazing. I wanted to be a role model to others. So all I wanted to do is to be able to take other people and introduce them to aviation, encourage them to learn, tell them what planes can be used for, what their importance are, and what they can do with their life. At AirVenture, I'm Warren Morningstar, AOPA Live.